For today's project, we are going to make a Venetian blind smarter with the help of SwitchBot Blind Tilt. Hey everyone, this is Alex Reed, and today we are going to have a look at the SwitchBot Blind Tilt. As you might know, I'm already in the SwitchBot ecosystem since almost a year now with the SwitchBot Career Teams. So when the team from SwitchBot asked me if I would like to show you that device, of course I was interested. You can get this device for about 70 bucks, and you can find it on the SwitchBot website or on Amazon. I would say that SwitchBot is known to have great sales all over the year, so you might want to take a look at their website. If there is a sale while I release this video, I will make sure to have all details in the description below. First, let's unbox it. Here is a robot that you will turn your blind in the manual. One of the difference with the SwitchBot curtain is that this one comes with the solar panel that we have here. So that means that if you have enough sun, you will probably never have to recharge that device. And for me, a device that you just install and forget is probably the best ones. So here are every things that will help you to install it. You will get all the guides that you will need to install things at the right place, but also every adapter is to fit your blinds. It also comes with a cable to charge it if you're not using the solar panel. So now it's time to install this. The first step will be to clean the head drill and the one with the wipe that is provided. So now that we clean it and determine the size of the adapter that we need, we can install the next guide. This one will help you to place the mounting base and the adapter on the wand. Now for the second step, you will want to know the size of your wand. You just have to wrap around your wand the provided guide. This will tell you if you have to use the small, medium, large or extra large adapter. On my side, I was really on the edge between large and extra large. So I thought, hey, let's go with the extra large. Next, you will have to choose your mounting base. That will depend on your blind model. So the mounting base have to be in one of the two corners that you have with the guide. So on my side, it will be on the left, like this. Now that this guide is installed, we can install the adapter on the wand. When I took the size of my wand, I might have exaggerated a bit. So it was not the extra large, large that I should have taken. So I have to go back and remove the extra large one. I guess I'm not the only one to see my wand bigger than it is in reality. So now that I installed a proper adapter, we can remove the guide. Now that we remove the guide, we can install the coupling on the adapter and close. For the next step, we will install the blind tilt motor. You slide the top bracket into the mounting base and you align the motor with your coupling base. Then you can just close it. Now that this part is installed, we'll stick the solar panel directly on the window. On my side, I will pass the wire above the head trail just like that. Now you can connect it directly to the USB-C port. There is also a white cap that you can install just before plugging the solar panel. On my side, I won't put it as I will just reinstall the trim that I had. And that's it, just like that you finish the installation of all the hardware. Now let's have a look at the setup through the application. You will have to go to the App Store or the Play Store to install the SwitchBot app. Once done, just follow the steps to create your account if needed. So now it's time to configure the SwitchBot blind tilt with the application. So first, you will want to add a new device. It might be already detected, but if not, you will have to press and hold the button at the bottom for two seconds. Then you will be asked to fill a name. So my side, it will be Kitchens Blind. Then it will ask you if you want to see videos or the manual to install it. As it's already done on our side, let's just skip it. Now we will have to go through the calibration process. This will be done in four different steps. First one, we will fully close down the blinds. For the second step, we'll fully open the blind, so we want the blind to be horizontal. The third step will be to fully close up the blinds. And the last step will be to bring back the blind fully open. And that's it, now your blind is ready to be controlled through the SwitchBot app. If you already have a SwitchBot app, it will ask you right away if you want to be able to control it from the cloud. If you choose to enable that function, it will select the app by itself. And it will let know Alexa, Google Home and other smart assistant knows that a new device is available. So now that everything is installed and configured, we can deep dive into the SwitchBot app. So first we can set a delay if we want. So we can decide, okay, in 10 minutes, I want you to be fully closed or fully open or whatever. And we can have schedule and those schedule will be saved directly on the device. That means that you don't have to have the hub or have your cell phone connected or something. This will be done all by it the device itself. So with the light sensor, we can add automation. So if there is too much light or not enough, it will decide if it opens, close, or 
And again, you can decide when it's valid. So if you do only want, uh, when it's sunny, you want the blind to open, but only on weekdays or on certain period of the day, you can do it through there. So now talking about connectivity. Out of the box, you won't need anything. So the device itself will be able to connect to your iPhone or to your Android phone through Bluetooth. And you will be able to configure automation with that. If you want to go further than that, you will have to get uh, a mini like this one. This hub will basically translate the Bluetooth signal from the device to the cloud. And with that, you will be able to use Google, Alexa, Siri, or all, pretty much all the major uh, smart home platforms. Also, SwitchBot announced that it will support Mather over Wi-Fi with their new hub, coming pretty soon. On my side, I was able to test it with Google and Alexa, and it works flawlessly. Within a few seconds that I turned on the cloud integration, I got notification from both Google and Alexa that a new device was found by the SwitchBot integration. But now we talk enough about JetBuzzer. So let's try the Home Assistant integration. The SwitchBot blind tilt is supported out of the box. That means that as soon as you will have configured it with the SwitchBot app, it should be detected by Home Assistant. So you should get a notification and just add a device to the setting and integration page. If it's not found automatically, you can add the device through the SwitchBot integration. There is a small tricky part though. For Home Assistant, 0% of the cover is closed and 100% is open. That being said, for the SwitchBot blind tilt, 50% is fully open. 100% will be fully closed up and 0% will be fully closed down. To fix that, you will have to go in the Home Assistant documentation and copy the configuration for a cover template that you can find just here. Once this added to your configuration.yaml file, you will have to restart Home Assistant. Once done, you should be able to include your new cover in your dashboards. I feel that this should be a part of the integration. I don't think we should have to add a cover template for a supported device. So I hope we'll get an improvement on that in the next months. On my side, I like the fact that you can just install and with the solar panel, you just forget it. For me, uh, again, this is really the best. At my previous home, I had a blind that was like 12 feet from the ground. That device would have been perfect for that case. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please click the thumbs up. That will mean the world to me. If you want to see more smart home stuff, just subscribe and well, see you for the next project.